About a year ago, I dove into a CNC project that I decided I wanted to work on at that time. It was one of those things where you didn't know what you didn't know, but I decided that I wanted to do it, and that's kind of how things start, so I committed to it. It was a pretty sweet opportunity for me to learn a lot of things that I didn't know, and I got to work on a whole lot of signs for our friends and family, and I did plenty of trinkets lying around the house. But before I got started with this project, it would have been really nice to know what you need to make a CNC machine. So for you guys, I wanted to start off with the basics. CNC, computer numerical control. So presumably you're gonna need a computer and you're gonna need a numerical controller. It's really that simple. So the controller, I went with a four axis TB6560 off of eBay, which requires a parallel port. So you need a computer with a parallel port. It's pretty simple stuff. This awesome computer is also going to need CNC software to control your machine. Most of the time you're going to go with Mach 3, that's kind of an industry standard. Now Mach 3, Mach 3 basically takes pre-generated code and it translates that to a sort of coordinates that your numerical controller can use to control your machine. Now to generate this code you're going to need CAD and CAM software. I use Fusion 360 because it's pretty effective and it's free, that's kind of the big deal, but it works really well most of the time. So we haven't really rung up much of a tab here because the controller was only 220 bucks. The computer was free because it was corporate scrap. I just needed to get a hard drive for it, which a friend of mine had. Mach 3 was 150 bucks. Fusion 360 is also free. And then it cost me about $400 to make the CNC router. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit more. But all this is all you really need to get started with the build. So the controller that I bought also came with a 12 volt power supply, which is essential to make everything work. It came with a bunch of stepper motors, which are also very important because uh, nothing's really gonna move without these motors. And above that, it even came with this other junk, which is just other junk. It doesn't really make any difference. But right here, this set is really kind of the backbone of the whole CNC machine and picking out a set that has this kind of simplifies the process. You're also going to need some kind of router or spindle, something that's actually going to be doing the cutting. I went with a $30 Harbor Freight router. My table started out life as a sheet of plywood that I cut into 36 by 36 inches. I used a whole bunch of hobby bearings that I picked up pretty cheap on eBay. And this is a bit of an oversimplification, but I just basically attached rails to it and I used the bearings to make gliding surfaces so everything can move together and I'm using all thread attached to the stepper motors to actually move all the components and it works pretty reliably. I don't know if the other YouTube guys who built their own CNC machines, if they're just trying to intimidate everybody, but it almost seems like they don't want uh, transparency and I want you guys to see what I did, exactly the components that I used and this is a really good start. You're able to just go buy these things off of the shelf and put them together and make them work. It seems like it would be more complicated than that, but everything works pretty well. Hopefully this video will kind of point you guys into the right direction of exactly what you're trying to do if you're thinking about building a CNC machine. And as always, thanks for doing your part to help make this world a strange place.